A bill seeking to establish the National Assembly Budget and Research Office has killed second reading on the floor of the Senate. The legislation, which provides the National Assembly with objective, timely and non-partisan analysis for economic and budget decision, was sponsored by Deputy President of the Senate, Jadrin Burrell. In a debate, the lawmakers argued that the bill, which has suffered rejection in previous assemblies over the last 20 years, remains critical in strengthening legislative efficiency and ensuring the budget passed by the executive is thoroughly scrutinized. There's no power in terms of approvals for expenditures in the National Assembly than probably any other power. The power or the pass. And if we have that power, we must use it properly and appropriately. How do we do that? We must base our decisions to approve financial requests or on issues of economy from position of knowledge, understanding, and enlightenment. And NABRO is that outfit, that institution that will give us that cutting edge power that we need. Mr. President, this bill is not targeted at confronting or challenging the executive on the um, budget proposal of budget estimate. But it serves as an independent office that will give us a first-hand information about the budgetary document as present, that will be presented to us by the executive. The bill, however, did not get a small passage as Senator Adams Oshomale warned against the establishment of any agency when the federal government is trying to match some existing ones. He said the bill will create additional financial burden on the federal government, especially at the time the country is experiencing economic hardship. Just this week, Mr. President, the the president of Nigeria, Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu, decided to scale down this other, on the basis of, you know, collapse some agencies in order to reduce the cost of governance. Why the executive is doing that, regardless of what anybody will say, for us to rise from these chambers to say that we have created another new institution, I think on the face of it, we will be seen as expanding where the executive is with, uh, uh, reducing. Number two, I believe in research. There is no question. Just this week, Mr. President. But despite his appeal, the bill was passed and forwarded to the Senate Committee on Appropriation to report back in four weeks. In his concluding remarks, the Deputy Senate President expressed hope that the President would give assent to the bill when it eventually passed in the interest of democracy. So what they tell us is what we use as a source of information. But when we have this office, we also have our own information, our reservoir information that can be used to check, to check whatever is given to us by anybody, by any MDA. And no ministry will come and tell you this is happening or that is happening. You check against your own data. So that will help the country, you know. And every member of the National Assembly can go in there and have whatever anybody wants in terms of uh, data, in terms of statistics, in terms of information, or anybody. So it is a very important office, and it's, it's, it, we need to put that in place here in order to go with international best practice. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.